What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? I am Rachel Photon. Welcome, welcome back. I'm so happy to be here with you all today. In this oracle reading, you all, we're going to see what the universe wants you to know. Stay tuned. Wow. So it looks like you all, from what I'm seeing in the cards, there could have been something that made you really upset recently. And whatever occurred in that situation, it is no longer bothering you. It is no longer going to be irritating you. It is no longer going to be making you upset. I do see you becoming very happy about something. And then this could be very exciting to you and you may almost be intrigued as to how this has happened or how this has occurred or how come you didn't think of this thing sooner but it looks like from what I'm sensing you could have been dealing with people who may not have liked something that you were doing or something that you had going on or they didn't like how much success you had been gaining in a situation they may have even had a lot of hatred towards you, possibly because you were happy, possibly because things were working out well for you. They could have been wondering why some of the things that they could have been trying to do to block your success or to stop you. They could have been wondering why those things weren't working. They don't understand how you seem to be unstoppable. You keep overcoming whatever difficulties or challenges that you have dealt with and someone could be trying to figure out how you're doing this how you're becoming so successful or why they can't stop you why they can't block you why you seem to be so unstoppable when it comes to achieving your goals and your successes why they can't keep you from enjoying yourself or enjoying life I do see that you don't harbor hatred in your heart or you're trying to stay away from harboring hatred in your heart, especially for those who may have betrayed you or who may have done you wrong or who you could have realized weren't really for you or who you could have realized had ulterior motives or were only involved with you because they thought that they could use you or gain something from you in some way without giving back in return or without having an equal give and take. So someone could think that you practice Satanism or they could think that you worship evil and that's what they don't like about you, but you don't. You're not a Satanist. You don't worship evil. And in fact, the things that whoever this is could have been trying to do to you or could have wished for it to happen to you. They're actually showing that they're the ones that are actually more evil. How they hate you. For no reason at all. For some of them they have no reason at all to hate you. It's like they can't stand to see you happy. They don't like when you're in good spirits. You're in good vibes or... They can't bring you down. They can't make you feel bad about yourself. They can't distract you. They can't make you see reality in ways that they want you to see reality. Maybe they want you to quit practicing something or quit doing something that is making you very happy. That is helping you to succeed. That is helping you to empower yourself. This person may be a frenemy. They may be somebody who acts like they're for you. They may be for you in certain situations, but in other ways, they may not agree with the things that you do or the things that you practice or the ways that you view reality. You may be happy because you figured out recently whether or not someone was really for you or whether or not they were against you you figured out how to protect yourself against a frenemy of some sort
Some of you all could have realized that someone who you thought was genuine, real, true, good-hearted, kind, generous, that they actually are involved with Satanism. They actually worship evil. They worship Satan. Maybe they could have thought that you did as well, but you don't. Or they could be bothered or upset because they can't get you to either be okay with the messed up things that they do or they can't corrupt you. Someone could be happy that you finally see the truth about somebody. Someone could have been working some sort of magic or rituals or something on you to try to get you to go crazy, but they were unsuccessful. They could have been trying to get you to fear practicing something or engaging in something or doing something that makes you very happy, that uplifts you, that inspires you, that motivates you, that helps you to live a better life, to bring better things to yourself. You could have had some experiences recently with ghosts or spirits of some sort, and you could be intrigued by these experiences. Someone could have been trying to send monitoring spirits to you to scare you or to confuse you or to disrupt your happiness, but they were unsuccessful in their tactics against you. I'm sensing also that someone could have been trying to keep you from finding out about something or realizing something. Or they were trying to keep you from being able to tell other people something. If you have some sort of psychic gifts or abilities, they could have been trying to keep you from utilizing these psychic gifts or these psychic abilities. Or they could have been trying to attack your psychic gifts, your spiritual gifts, or trying to scare you to keep you from using them. They were unsuccessful with their tactics. This could be someone who doesn't want you to know more about them or know more about their secrets or... Who is nervous that you're going to find out that they're not actually really for you. Some of you all have stopped dealing with this individual who was basically a frenemy. Someone could have been trying to test your patience or to see how spiritually strong you are. They realize that they can't defeat you. They can't stop you. They can't block you. Or they could have been trying to do something to keep you from practicing some sort of spiritual practices that make you very uh, powerful, that make you very successful, that make you stable, that help you to really do better in life. You may be able to see things that other people can't see. You may be able to understand or overstand things other people aren't over aren't able to overstand or understand you may have the gift of prophecy the ability to see into the future to predict certain things someone may have doubted your abilities to do this they could have thought that you were working with evil spirits or demons or something like that but you weren't They could have even tried to send an evil spirit to you or a demon to you, but they were unsuccessful. Some of them may know that you are protected by the divine or by divine beings of some sort, and they could have been trying to figure out ways to disconnect you from these beings that are protecting you or to try to find a way to make you think that you aren't as protected as you are or to make you fear Doing things that helped you to connect more with the divine. 
This could be something that your ancestors dealt with as well. Almost like they had to practice their spiritual practices in secret because others didn't understand them or others would was were misjudging them the things that they were practicing the things that they were doing they may have hated on your ancestors unnecessarily they never really took the time to get to know why your ancestors believed what they believed or why they were practicing what they were practicing or why they were doing what they were doing it's almost like someone is looking at the things that you practice or the ways that you believe. They think it's a form of Satanism or evil or something like that. But actually what they practice is closer to evil than what you do. The ways that they believe are closer to being out of harmony and out of tune with divine law and divine beingness than what it is that you're doing. They may even have tried to convince you that protecting yourself, spiritually speaking, is evil or is wrong or could have been trying to make you forget that you had the ability to protect yourself spiritually or that you're already spiritually protected. For some of you all, you could have left this individual or these people because you realized what, whatever it was was going on in that situation. Some of them could have been trying to make you fear leaving them or moving away from them or going on your own path, doing your own thing, seeing things in your own way. They could have even been trying to somehow take your spiritual gifts from you. Or they could have been intentionally wasting your time and your energy. Energy harvesting. Or they could have been trying to trigger a need to be accepted or loved or appreciated or valued by these people when there is no need. Or by this person when there is no need. It's almost like they were trying to make you not be able to realize that they aren't really for you or they're not someone who you should be involving yourself with or that they don't really have your best interests at heart. Well, it looks like you let go of whatever that was. And your life is becoming much better because of that or it's about to become much better because of that. Someone could be trying to make you feel like you have to overly prove yourself or you have to go above and beyond to be accepted. This person or these people cannot be trusted. They may try to make people think that you can't be trusted or that there's something wrong with you. Because you're able to see the truth of a situation or because of what you believe or how you see things. They could have been trying to make people think that you're a Satanist or that you're evil when you're not. It's because they don't want people to, to support you more than they support them. It's like it's because they don't want people to see that you're the truth or you're legit or something like that. Someone could have thought that you weren't to be trusted or... Like someone could have lied on you to someone and whoever it was that they lied on to on, on you about, this person realizes that you're the truth now. They see that you can be trusted or that you are honorable or that you are the right choice. They realize that the reason why that person was lying about you was because they were either envious of you, jealous of you, or that they were trying to keep you from succeeding somehow. Or they could have even wanted your person for themselves or wanted the support of your person instead of your person giving their support to you. They were trying to make you undesirable to this person. 
maybe even trying to make you act out of character or act in ways that your person did not find valuable or did not want to deal with or be involved with. You may be realizing that you can really truly trust yourself. You could trust your uh, the divine beings around you. You can trust your spiritual protection. You could trust the universe. And it's almost like this is bringing a sense of peace to you or happiness to you. You made the right choice with something or made the right choice to do something. The universe could be congratulating you. It could be very happy that you figured something out, that you realized how to make something work or how to improve your life somehow. And it's almost like you have a new sense of wonder. A new excitement and passion about life or about your life purpose or your divine missions of some sort. I'm sensing that it's almost like part of what your divine mission is, is the complete opposite of what somebody wants. And so they could have been selfishly trying to keep you from fulfilling your divine missions, possibly because it meant that you needed to leave them or not be involved with them, or you may see things differently than they do or whatever the case may be. So they could have been trying to, you know, convince you to be a way that you weren't meant to be or think a way that you weren't meant to think and by default if you had listened to them or went the way that they wanted you to you would have been going against your divine missions or going against what your life purpose is this person is a friend of yours possibly or someone who acts like they support you this person may even genuinely have supported you at one point in time, but the wisdom or the advice that they have for you, it, it's its not what you should be following or it's not good for you and you intuitively know this. But they think that they're right about something or they really think that they're right or they really think they know what's best for you or what's best in a situation or what you should believe in or how you should see something what route you should take and so in that respect they became a frenemy it's almost like they don't want you to have a mind of your own or they don't want you to think about things in your own way or have your own views and perspectives of reality you could have even been very unhappy in that situation with that individual or whenever you come around that individual it's like for some of y'all, you almost feel like they suck the happiness out of you. And it's almost like you could have even been dealing with people or situations where it's like the relationship was going really well with them or it was working well. Or you guys were able to get along or they were supporting you. It sounds like when they started to see that you had more potential than them or you had the potential to be better than them at something or you, they're realizing you're more powerful at them at something or you're more liked than they are, all of a sudden they started to get envious or jealous or spiteful or something like that, y'all. And so when they should have been supporting you, they could have been instead wishing on your downfall. Doing little slick stuff here and there to try to confuse you or make you make the wrong choices or to keep you stuck at a certain level, not able to evolve or improve or do better for yourself. Someone could have been trying to keep you trapped in... A perpetual cycle of self-sabotage they were unsuccessful at that you know what I'm sensing this is very similar for some of y'all part of this situation is like it's very similar to like say you like say that there was two people and they're researching on a project together or they're doing some kind of scientific experiment or something like that and they both come to different conclusions to what happened in the experiment 
or to what they found in the research, right? One thinks one way and one thinks the other. It's almost like this person feels like you can't be for them or you can't be friends with them or you can't be on their side if you came to different conclusions from the experiment or the research than they did. Or they might feel like you got to think a certain way or behave a certain way to be a part of a situation or to be a part of a group or to be respected. But it's like this person's preconceived idea of what you should be thinking or believing or behaving like, it don't make no sense or it's, it, it's really irrational or... It's like real petty and unnecessary. It's like there's bigger things that they could be thinking about or looking at or focusing on or seeing as valuable or worthy. It's like it's not even that serious. Like the way that somebody is responding to your conclusions on something or your view of reality or your view of the world it's not going to harm it's not going to harm anybody it's not going to hurt anybody and to be quite honest both like conclusions could be true there are situations like that where two things could be true that don't seem that might seem to be opposite or that might not seem like they both could be true it's like so wild it's like there's somebody that wants you to be begging for approval from them when it's actually the opposite they should be trying to gain your approval or it shouldn't even be no none of that whoever this is they may have done this multiple times or they may like they have a certain pattern of some sort they do this to people like when they see people starting to become more successful than them or taking the shine away from them or making them seem less um, valuable or less wanted or less of the center of attention. Then they feel like they got to try to do something to humble that person or to block them from becoming successful or to make people hate them or to change people's perspectives of them. For some of y'all, there's somebody who's real protective over you. They're very protective over you. For some of y'all, this person may be defending you or they want you to know that you don't need whoever this other person is. You, you're you good on your own or you're good enough to move forward to do whatever. Some of y'all, this person who's trying to protect you, they could be imagining something evil that's not evil or they could try to see like they might be seeing your evolution or you're wanting to do new things or invest in new things or try new things or whatever they could be seeing it as a as a threat or like as if it, it's not good for you so they're trying to keep you from doing something or involving yourself with something or seeing something a certain way but it's like their perspectives on the situation are flawed to begin with they're misjudging it or misjudging somebody so they could be trying to protect you but it's like the stuff that they're doing is making you not even want to be involved with them i'm sensing a know-it-all like this person is acts like a know-it-all sounds like they can't be wrong they feel like they can't be wrong and if they it's if they ever admit that they're wrong like they don't really believe they're wrong. They just say it just to seem like they're humble. I don't know. But I see somebody or a group of people who really, really value you. Who really see what you have to offer. Who may even want to work with you. If they know about some sort of gifts or abilities that you may have, 
they find that to be intriguing. They like the ways that you view reality or your perspectives of life or something like that. It's almost like as one situation ends or closes, you'll be starting to attract your true tribe or the true people you're meant to be involved with. Something could have really tested your faith in this situation, but you stayed strong. You kept your faith. You trusted yourself. It could have had something to do with your faith in yourself, your faith in your own understandings or overstandings of things, your own intelligence, your own knowledge, your own wisdom, your own experiences, trusting in your own conclusions. Yeah, something is some, some someone is very very interested in you, and possibly some sort of experiences that you have had in the past, or some way that you view reality, or um, they could be wondering like what have you experienced to make you come to the conclusions that you have come to, or if you changed, if you started to see things differently than you normally do, they could be wondering what caused you to change. For some of y'all, these people or this person, they see people changing as though they're not real, they're not legit, they're not true. But like, why would you always stay the same if you know that doing something is not right for you or not working for you? Or if you know that thinking a certain way is not going to get you the success that you need? Or if you know that it's time for you to evolve or improve or whatever the case may be. Why would you keep staying the same? And like that's that faulty judgment. That's that that's that, you know, that that person has. It's like they are starting off with the wrong judgment to to think that someone can only be real, true and genuine if they never change, if they always stay the same, if they always think a certain way or if they always act a certain way or you know, like they don't give nobody room to change, to evolve, to think differently, to see things differently. And this could be one of the reasons why this person, if they don't admit when they're wrong, that's why. Or if they do say that they're wrong, but they don't really mean it, that's why. And that's why they don't have the ability to evolve or to become better or to do better. is because they don't allow themselves to. And they think that you're wrong or faulty or messed up because you do. You're allowing yourself to change, to evolve, to improve. But that's all right. Like, don't get caught up on that. Don't worry about that. You're going to attract your true tribe. You have to allow the universe to work for you. And you just have to stay faithful in the process. You may have known that this would happen if you take a certain stance or if you start expressing yourself in a certain way or if you start acting a certain way or you start moving differently or whatever you may have known that you know people some people aren't really going to like it or you might not no longer be involved with people who you could have really valued at one point in time but this is definitely helping you to improve your life and enhance your life these choices and these decisions that you're making and you can trust yourself. You can trust the universe. And if you had any kind of difficulties or issues or really things that were just, you know, causing you to just not experience a good life or not be happy or not enjoy what it is that you do or to not want to continue on your divine missions and your life purpose, you will be healed from that. You will recognize what the cause of something that you could have been dealing with if it was some kind of confusion or some kind of feeling like you weren't wanted or like you had to kind of like go above and beyond and try to prove yourself and this and that and the other. Like you're no longer going to be dealing with that. You're going to be healed from that. Because whatever it was that was causing it, you may have let go of that or stopped doing that or changed something or uh, moved on from someone or whatever the case may be. For some of y'all, it's almost like somebody wanted to keep you traumatized or like acting out of a traumatized mind. Let's say in the past you dealt with something 
traumatizing, difficult, messed up. Um, it's almost like you could have trauma bonded with somebody or they were trauma bonding you. And you realized what they were doing or what was going on. It's almost like they would do stuff to like make your situation more difficult or make you feel insecure or make you act this way, that way. And then they would try to play savior with you or they would try to they, they would try to make it seem like that's not what they were doing. And they knew that you would be involved with them more. You would want to come to them more. You would rely on them more if they did those things. Like, this is weird. And so for some of y'all, you could have even been dealing with somebody where, like, they left you before you could leave them kind of thing. Like, they could have thought that you were going to leave them or you didn't want to be involved with them anymore. So then they started doing stuff to push you away, essentially. So it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy for them. You have some powerful gift or ability to be able to transcend time and space, reality, like meditate or to astral travel. Or you've transcended beyond whatever this is. If you were weak in the past or you weren't able to stand your ground or you weren't able to defend yourself or or um put yourself first or whatever you have moved past that you've broken some sort of generational curses of some sort because again like your ancestors could have dealt with this too this being overly loyal to people who you should have never been loyal to to begin with or this, this being overly loyal to certain beliefs, thoughts, behaviors, and ways of existing, even when it was obvious that they weren't beneficial. It's almost like someone felt like if they could make you feel like you weren't wanted or you weren't valued, that you would try to prove yourself more to them so that they could get more from you or more out of you. Some sort of like mind games. But whatever this is, they're realizing that they can't do this no more. It's not working or they're only, you know, exposing who they truly are, what they're really about. Like, you could have been growing closer to God, to source. And you have been gaining some sort of knowledge or wisdom as you've been doing this. The divine has been showing you things. And improving your life and things since you may have stopped dealing with this individual or this situation or maybe even stop downplaying your greatness or, or whatever it is or starting to trust yourself more or starting to trust the divine more and the universe more. The universe has started to reveal certain things to you. You may have started to be able to see more things, understand existence or reality better. Because you're not trapping yourself into a box when it comes to understanding the universe. You don't think you know it all. You don't think you know everything from a from a narcissistic standpoint. And so the universe then has the ability to show you things to give you more knowledge and more wisdom. To become better. To be able to fulfill your divine missions more. It's like if somebody thinks that they know everything. But that everything they think they know is actually not really 100% true. is might be false. Then it's almost like they keep themselves from being able to actually access the truth. So I see you very devoted to your own truth. To yourself. To... Um, fulfilling your life, improving your life. It's almost like somebody wanted you to believe or think that you were Satanistic or that it was Satanistic to be devoted to yourself, to your own self-improvement and self-empowerment when it's not. When you love yourself, when you care for yourself, when you try to do the best that you can for yourself without disrespecting others, doing crazy to others, you know, stealing all kind of stuff from other people, stepping on people and all of that to get to where, 
Like, when you don't have to do all that, but you're just genuinely trying to be the best for yourself, you have a lot of self-care, um, you're, you're putting a lot of time, effort, and energy into your own self-improvement and evolution, that is not Satanistic. And it's like, it's like these mind games or whatever it is this person was trying to play with you, they want you to think that pouring more into yourself or investing more into yourself or thinking your own ways or, you know, let's say an example, being protective of the knowledge and wisdom that you have so that others can't run off on the plug with it, right? It's like, they wanted you to believe that that was wrong for you to do that. That what's right is to overly share, to be, you know, insecure or to be always constantly begging for somebody's approval and this and that and the other. It's like mind games, man. These And it's like these people do this to other people and they don't even realize that that's what that person is doing to them. But you're able to see through it. You're able to see through the games because you have healed. Maybe you've dealt with this before with somebody else or other people. And they're, this person is trying to figure out, like, how were you able to see through whatever it was that they were doing? Or they may even feel insecure because they gained a sense of pride off of being able to trick you or fool you or keep or use you in ways that they should have never been able to do. You're okay with being unwanted. You're okay with not being respected or valued or honored from somebody who is not even honorable, viable, or respectable in their own right. Or at least in these particular situations. People see that you're reliable. People see that you can be trusted. So if they were trying to diminish the faith of the public in you or of, of others or have you looking real stupid and crazy they were not successful at it and they could be upset about it and this could make them hate you even more but you're being protected the more that they wish bad to you or try to do bad to you the more you prosper benevolently the more protected you are by the divine the more uplifted you become, the more the more spiritually gifted you become, the more powerful you become. There could be some sort of scientific discovery that you were researching about recently. It may have something to do with um, like universal laws or the true nature of reality or scientific discoveries that prove the true nature of reality. It's okay if others don't believe you or aren't able to see reality the way that you see it they will eventually and they may even come and apologize for treating you a certain way or for acting a certain way with you you're going to be gaining a lot of people who support you who value you like i said you may be attracting your true tribe so you you need to trust the process trust yourself don't be too hard on yourself if you don't have everything that you would like to right now or if things aren't looking exactly the way that you want them to look or if you may not feel like you compare to other people who you may admire or be inspired by or whatever. Everyone is on their own journey. What's meant for you is meant for you, okay? And you just have to have that faith and trust that divine timing is working for you yep so i do see you overcoming whatever that situation was or you have and you were able to do this by remaining steadfast and faithful and it looks like if you had to start over or do something different or um just create something new or something like that, it will become successful for you because you remain steadfast and faithful. You're being told don't let nobody take your peace from you. Don't let people trigger you. If you see that that's what they're trying to do, don't give them what they want. Now, there are situations that, or people who you might need to research further into 
or really look deeper into a situation before you involve yourself with it or before you invest further into it. Make sure that something is the truth. Be careful not to get too caught up in overly optimistic thinking. Be realistic with yourself. But optimism is good as well. Just don't be so optimistic that you aren't you aren't able to see areas where things may not go in your favor that you could actually prevent, you know, or be able to deal with if it occurred. Someone may feel like you hum- you humiliated them because you didn't choose them or because you they couldn't get you to do what they wanted you to do. It's almost like somebody bet behind the scenes or was like telling people that they had you wrapped around their finger or they they could manipulate and control you and do whatever they wanted with you or their ego it's like their ego is is feeling some type of way because again they base their pride off of how they can manipulate people and control people or how much better they think they are than the next person or how capable they are of like making people believe and think and act in the ways that they want them to. Somebody could have been trying to humiliate you. They were unsuccessful. If they did, you came out the victor in the situation and stronger than ever. Continue being the truth, trusting the truth, and working with the truth. Your spirit guides are showing you the way They are protecting you. They are helping you. The way you see the situation is reasonable. You aren't crazy. You aren't stupid. All right. And something is being initiated. Again, you could be starting something new. Or you could be being accepted by a group or by a situation of some sort. People who may be your true tribe or who may be meant for you on this part of your journey or who may somehow be involved with helping you to fulfill some sort of divine missions you may have or to live in your life purpose. Whatever you dealt with recently, it was worth it. It may not seem that way, but it was worth it. It really tested your faith and you came out victorious. You are victorious. You have to know this. It may not feel that way, but you are, you are, know that.